Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for a, a little railroad experience. We, we spent a little bit of time at Cleburne State Park. Cleburne's got railroad history. So anyway, let's go see some trains. Let's go see some train stuff. Before we get into this video, click the howdy button. Tell me howdy. Tell me what you like about trains. Are you a train fan? Did you have model trains when you were a kid? It brings out the kid in all of us. In case you didn't know, Cleburne is a railroad town. Since we're at Cleburne State Park, I thought it only made sense for us to visit the Cleburne Railroad Museum. This is operated by the city of Cleburne and it's a free admission. So let's let's go see some train stuff. Huh. See the uh, menu and the prices. I did not say the menu and the prices. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, that that can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> it's back when a, a dime was actually ten cents. Mm -hmm. right. train whistle sign so if you run across a W like that at a garage sale you want to buy it because R4 years you can donate it to the courthouse. Yeah well this is true. <laughs> so if you're ever in Cleburne you need to look at the engraving on the courthouse. My parents own were partners in the lumber yard in the little town where I grew up, and they had a safe about this size, but the doors had been blown off in a robbery. One side had. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Did you? Yes, I saw that. I wonder how many of those got jerked out of the hands. <laughs> how many arms are missing because of that? <laughs> So, so, so this, this is how they dispatched orders to the train. So, it would, it would work like that. They would roll that up, and the dude would lean out and stick his arm through it. And the string would wrap around his arm. That, that would be, that'd be scary. In the shop. Santa Fe Stump. What, what about the Santa Fe Stump? Interesting. So did you need to scan this because the history of this stump is is fascinating. It was used by a, a guy in the tin shop down at the Galveston Island facility yeah. and a hurricane hit and it got washed away and they found it and brought it back and they ended up closing that facility down and moving all that up to Cleburne and they brought the stump with them and then that place burned but the stump survived but the heat caused it to split yeah. and so the metal smith guys put a band put right. the bands around it so the guy could keep using it and then it ended up 
they gave it to him when he retired or something, uh -huh. and then they got sold at an estate sale, and the guy, he didn't know that they were selling it, and so he went and tracked it down and bought it back. It's interesting. It's a very amazing history for that cypress stump. It's cypress. Apparently cypress is better for working metal than any other wood because I guess it's got some resiliency to it. It's okay. got some springiness. Yeah. Anyway, you, nice. you were talking about the spirit of Cleburne. G scale. That is. We're actually going to go see that. Interurban. That's cool. Four six O's. I said four 
four. Oh. Mexico crane was. Yeah. I wonder where they located all of the HO scale antique vehicles. A lot of the hobby for that. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a big one of the that has the markers. was actually here last year about this same time last year as a matter of fact but I didn't have the perspective that I have today which is we know more about this train than we did at that time after visiting the, the train museum I feel very educated don't you feel educated now I do That is one big old hunk of steel. That's a Texas train bigger than this? The big Tex or whatever it is? I think so. God. I think so. Look how tall those wheels. Those wheels have got to be six feet tall, man. The Durango train ain't shit <laughs> I was just looking at the rivets on the, yeah. the oil car and how perfectly aligned they are. Man, that's a lot of fasteners. Yeah. I feel sorry for the bastard drilling them holes. And springs. So I didn't realize when I was here before, but the the whole thing is on a super carriage yeah. with springs supporting it. Yeah. I wonder what that what that weighs. I bet it is a lot. This plus much more. Yeah. Yep. It's just, it's like, how does that work? Mm. Just like how does an aircraft carrier float on the water? But technically, they're they're not called cow catchers. Because they weren't intended to catch it. Um, Go ahead and lay up here. Compound. 
heck fluorescent was in the thing. Thanks to Google, we're gonna go see some more model trains. But first, I'm gonna go look at the old Dr. Pepper truck. Them was the days right there. 10, 2, and 4. Good for life. Owned by Danny Roberts of Cleburne, Texas. Now that's a cool old truck right there. I really dig that front end. I remember getting this label out of the coach chain, and I remember this one. I don't remember this. That is a Dublin Dr. Pepper. Yeah, we didn't have them. You had to come down here and get them. So we're going to go into the Dillon Depot. There is no fee for entry here either. And there's supposedly a big train layout in here. That is cool. I hate to have been the soda pop guy, the route driver that had to deliver those. Slinging those 16 ounce glass bottles was bad enough. I can't imagine a case of glass gallons. That is very, very cool. It's all intended to be viewed from over here.
That's the HO. And then we have C, C gauge. This is an older C gauge. I am fascinated by model trains. I'm a fascinated by a lot of things. And, and miniaturization, people, people, the effort that people put into creating miniature dioramas and things, I, I find it to be totally fascinating. And this is gonna become a regular thing. We're about to do some traveling and I've identified a couple of model railroad things I wanna go see, a couple of railroad related things. But I, th I think trains may become a, a permanent playlist on the channel. What are your thoughts? Tell me down there. You want to see more model trains, hobby shops, and things of that nature? I've got some picked out over the next, I don't know, on this next trip. I've, I've got a couple places I'm going to go. Because I just, I just am fascinated by it. I really like that second one that we saw. At the the auditory experience was totally different between the two. The, the city museum, that, that train set made, you could tell when it was crossing the junction, the track junction. On that second one, oh my gosh, that thing was just quiet. They, they put a lot of effort into that. I was very impressed with it. Well, let's go see another one somewhere. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps. Click a th the thumbs up, that helps too. If you've already, if you've been following along, thank you. Give me some feedback. Do you want to see more trains? I know I've asked already, but I really, I need your feedback on this. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And for my patrons, your generosity, I, I thank you. That's all I got. Touches my heart. Thank you very much. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now. You hear?